What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Terry. Speaking from the garage shop again. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. You know we're going to do it. You know we're going to do it. Today, what we're doing is, well, you guys know about the 67 Chevelle project and what we've been doing. So far, what we've done was that back tail pan, we got that taken care of. The, the brace support for the gas tank, we got that taken care of. The whole trunk pan was all kinds of whacked out, so we got that taken care of. Uh, also, the, the, the brace that's underneath, like right behind the back seat, we got that installed taken care of. The rockers, the outer rockers on the passenger side, we got that taken care of. And we also filled in a couple of small little holes that, you know, like on the floorboard that we were noticing, we got that taken care of. We still got some more stuff to do, but today what we're gonna do is the inner rockers, yeah. It's a long story. So I guess the best thing to do is just to start by showing you what we got to take care of. Come here. All right, here's the underside of my 67 Chevelle. All right, so now if you look, you see on the Chevelle, it has three braces. It got one here, it has one here, and it has one here. And if you want to talk about the brace in the back, it has that one there too. But these are the ones that kind of hold the floorboard, that secure the floorboard. Apparently, at some point in this car's life, this floorboard was replaced. But it wasn't replaced with a new floorboard. Someone got the bright idea, I guess, I don't know, to pretty much get a California floorboard from a California 67 Chevelle, have it shipped, I guess, and pretty much, you know, like, you know, put it down. But they didn't complete the job, all right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you look at these braces, they, the end piece looks like this. You see? It comes off and it's welded and it's welded to the inner rocker. All right, look what we got here. See, this is uh, pretty bad. So basically there's no, other than this brace right here, which up there is kind of rotted as well. Other than the floorboard sandwiched on top, there's really, really no true support other than this brace. Yeah, mm. I keep telling you guys, I keep telling you guys, Come on, let, me get it. let me get a little closer on you. I keep telling you guys, this is what's out there. Yeah, when you go to buy like a muscle car or, or any type of car, this, especially old school cars like this, this is the type of work that's out there. That's why I'm so glad I beat that guy down. He wanted a fortune for this car, but I walked away with this car for pennies. I'm so excited because I knew I would have to do the work and I knew I could do the work. But if you can't do the work, there's nothing wrong with passing on this car and going somewhere else. But, but I mean, this, I'm telling you right now, listen, hear me now and listen to me later. This is what's out there. I, I've, I've seen Barrett Jackson cars, okay? Go across the line, right? Go across, go across the stage, right? In horrible shape. And people think they get in like a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar car. No, no. So I say this because I want you to be careful out there. Take someone who has no vested interest in the car whatsoever and just be like a level headed friend because, like I said, when you're there, you're like, but. You gotta have someone that knock you down and be like, are you sure you can do this work? This is a lot of work. Not being a pest, not being but not being someone negative. You know, like, no, someone who's looking out for your best interest. <laughs> because, <laughs> woo, but we're gonna repair it. Oh yeah, we're gonna repair it. Now this is a new brace. This is what I'm talking about, you see? How it comes down, this piece welds up against the inner rocker. This is, what needs to be repaired as well. And uh, we're gonna attempt to fix this, but the first thing we gotta do is we can't even think about this piece right here. Now, I thought about the best way I should go about attacking this. Let me show you what I came up with. Now, as you can see, the rear inner rocker is in really good shape up until you get to about this point. All right, now from this point, it looks like it's in decent shape from, you know, going on, but then you got this one, okay? Because these two braces are, Pretty close to each other, as you can see. When, when he removed, this is probably the original. So when he removed it, he just cut and hacked. But you can see it was rotted. So that's okay. We can repair that. But then when you get to the front, as you can see, look at that. It's just all gone there. So 
See, I got the newer, the new inner rocker right here. And the plan of attack is to pretty much replace the whole inner rocker up to this point. You know, cut it down here, get rid of it, weld the new one in, and clean all this up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break all these spot welds so I can try to take this off very clean. And uh, I'm gonna start here because this is where the good metal is. And I'm gonna just grind some of these spot welds down. Hopefully they just pop off. So let's see what we got. All right, let me show you what I got so far. Check this out. Okay, I was able to open up and cut all of that old, <laughs> right here, in a rocker out to the point where I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use this. This is the original, so I'm gonna keep this. But I got all from this point all the way up out. And like I said, look at, you know, now gives us the opportunity to clean in here, see, got some dirt in here, uh, all the sand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a little time grinding this out so it has a nice even surface to mate up against. So basically I made this piece of metal right here, you know, fab this up. This is gonna go in just like this. There we go. So it's gonna go in just like that. I made like a little hole so I can put the clip that you know, the bolt goes through to hold the, the bottom of the fender on. We got the inner rocker. We had to do a little modification here, but um, it looks good. It fits perfect. It fits tight the way it should. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to punch a couple of holes in here so um, we, can, we can start welding this thing together. All right, now I'm very happy the way this is coming out. We, uh, you know, did a few tack welds and the little spot welds. And uh, right now we're gonna have to go to Pound Town to uh, bring this closer to the metal. If, if I can't bang it to the point where I want it, here comes the sheet screws. But I think, well, let's see what happens, all right? It's looking, looking pretty good. We are getting it in. All right, so I got the inner rocker, the lower one, all welded in. Now it's gonna tilt the car a little bit more and start doing the, the top half. So there you have it. You know, did a little bit more grinding, a little bit more welding, and we got these inner rockers in permanently. Yeah, now these holes that I punched out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug them up, and I got that front piece. And I want to thank everyone in the group for sending pictures and ideas on how to do this because it really, it really worked out very well. So the only thing left to do is just plug up these little holes, and I got the inner rockers in, and I'm restoring the integrity of this car. And I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys. Because if it wasn't for everyone in social media sending me all those pictures of what the inner rocker should look like at the front, like right near the cow, like right under the cow, I'd still be wondering. Because I was online trying to find it, and I couldn't find any pictures. But you guys came through, and that's what it's all about. Much love to each and every one of you guys who sent me pictures, and all you guys who wish me the best of luck, and everyone that subscribes and follows well, subscribe to YouTube on uh, Coverman66 and on uh, Instagram, Terry LSX. I really appreciate it because we got a whole lot of videos coming. That's right, we got some more fresh videos coming starring this car. And I guess the next video we should do is because you see here, the frame support. Now that I got the inners in, now I have to beef up the frame support. 
So that's another video for another day. So until the next time we see each other, yeah. Always mm, be easy. Oh yeah. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care. Bring it all the way down.